All right, the answers are in. I know a lot of you have been wondering what's going on with this, what's going on with that. Why is this not done yet? Why is this not done? What's going on with this channel? What's going on with that channel? Well, hopefully we'll now have answers. The reason being, as you know, or if you're new to the channel, you won't know, this past year to maybe year and a half, maybe a bit further than that, we've been sciencing a lot of stuff in regards to the channel's direction. And not just this channel, the More Bits channel, the VOD channel, the Twitch streams, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and as most of you know, uh, or maybe you don't know, uh, I started on Twitch before I did YouTube, right? So that is where I primarily did content, specifically 12 years. And as you know, Twitch is a totally different breed compared to YouTube, and YouTube is a whole entire beast in itself. And over them 12 years, as I've been doing this, technically, uh, I did it as a hobby for the first six years. Now I've been doing it full time for the last five years. And during the first six years of creating content, I was learning how to do audio. I was learning how to do visuals. I was learning how to do Photoshop. I was learning how to do editing. I was learning to do or be a one man band, basically, because when you're a content creator, you have to learn all of them stuff if you want to try and be successful. Uh, it doesn't ha always have to be the case. You can literally just go live or upload video and it could possibly go viral. So during them six years, uh, as I was doing this as a hobby, I was working in uh, bars as an assistant manager. Uh, I was then doing a little bit of chefing. I then also um, went into a position where I was helping failing bars. So I was going around multiple kind of areas and different pubs and clubs and all that kind of stuff and making them uh, try and turn them around to make a profit. Uh, and then also after that, I left the whole um, industry uh, entirely. And then I went into professional security. I become a um, professional security officer where I was moving VIPs from A to B. And then come the decision, okay, I wanted to kind of put more effort into the content creation I was doing. So I was like, okay, let's do a whole rebrand. Let's do, uh, let's think of a name I can, I can have. Let's kind of think uh, where I want to be, what my kind of, uh, basically at the time, my Twitch emotes do I want it to be and all this kind of stuff, right? And I wanted to give it a full go. I've learned a lot over the last six years and I was like, okay, it's time to do this. Uh, and at that time as well, I was earning enough to make a full living from it. I was earning enough to give me at least, at least minimum wage here in the UK. And this was direct support from basically Twitch subscribers, donations, uh, cheers and all that kind of good stuff. And then over the years, um, when I was doing it full time, obviously that's when kind of Satisfactory launched and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and I was then obviously gaining more of a traction within the community. I My income was also rising. Uh, this was, again, straight Twitch only. I was then starting to bring in companies and brands who wanted to kind of work with me on sponsors and all this kind of stuff. That is when I made the decision to look into YouTube. It wasn't until three years ago, basically 2021, uh, or the end of 2020 uh, is when I was like, Okay, let's look into YouTube. What do we want to do? And I believe my first ever official kind of video I wanted to do as like, okay, we're going to give this a full time kind of go ahead was, I think it was a satisfactory tips and tricks video. It was back with update four or five. I can't, uh, I can't remember when it was. To be honest, it could have been update six. But the reason I'm telling you all of this is because everything is a slow progression. And this is where this topic of this video is was we know how we're sciencing things we're trying out things and i appreciate your patience uh, so much uh, and sticking with me whilst we've been doing this and trialing different kind of content and then obviously with youtube we was trying different thumbnails we was trying different schedules we was trying different games we was trying variety we was trying um second channels third channels bringing the second channel over to the main channel to see how that went uh, and a lot of it had its positives and a lot of it had its negatives. There was a, uh, a kind of like a balance that needed to be made and we now have the answers for that. So as you know, we, on this main channel, we tried uh, releasing videos every Sunday for, for example, Satisfactory. 
a satisfactory Sundays, as we called it. We then tried releasing videos uh, every couple of days. Uh, we tried daily. We also tried variety content uh, and all that kind of stuff. Then we had the second channel, which was the More Bitch channel, where we uh, basically did everything under the sun regarding variety because I was going hard on Satisfactory, which means I was live streaming Satisfactory for about eight hours a day for five days a week. And then I was finishing that live stream and then booting up a second save, which was primarily just for YouTube. That was then consuming another six hours of my day. So as you can see, a lot of my time was just spent working on the Satisfactory stuff and over and over and over and over and over again. And then I knew in three to four years of me doing this, it would eventually possibly could come to an end. We knew 1.0 would eventually release, which as of this year, September 10th, it is doing. Uh, and it's also uh, where we kind of want to be two to three years from today of, of me dropping this video. Uh, so I'm looking at 2026, 2027, where I want to be as a content creator. So the whole Twitch side of thing is primarily my income. YouTube, uh, because it was a secondary option at the time, uh, is my secondary. Uh, and it's not a focus on that, right? Um, it's more of my playground uh, to kind of science and testing, which is what we've been doing this last two years. Where I know for a fact I could live stream tomorrow a variety game and people will tune in, people will watch, people will laugh and just chill out, vibe and have a good time. Where I know on YouTube, if I was to release a video that is not part of my niche, it will fail so badly. Hence the reason YouTube is a bigger beast than what Twitch is. And it's less unforgiving. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a place that is a very, very dark place. But now is the time to get in the lane where I've wanted to be and our science results have now put us into. So you might have already been noticed if you've seen the Discord announcement, the Twitter announcement. I even put it in the community section here under Discord, uh, in, 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 on YouTube, sorry. Uh, and that is now basically this main YouTube channel. It's now going to be releasing videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. BST slash GMT, mainly UK time. And the genres of this channel is basically what you guys love. It is your factory automation games, your survival games, your simulation games, uh, and all that kind of stuff will be on this channel. Your reactions and all that kind of stuff. Then you have the More Bits channel. The More Bits channel is a variety channel where it is everything to do with what is not going to get put onto this channel. So this is all your Let's Plays, this is all your Alan Wakes or your, your Last of Us or, you know, your Assassin's Creed and all this kind of good stuff. Basically, the games I can now play that I couldn't play before because Satisfactory uh, and the other games was consuming way too much time. Because obviously now I now live stream the current YouTube playthrough and then I come off stream and then edit uh, the not the footage, but more of I create save checkpoints uh, in the actual um, save. So I, like I would boot up Satisfactory, I would do a little bit of progress on the live stream, create a save checkpoint, do a little bit more, create another save checkpoint. Then when I finish stream or when I come to a recording session, I will then go, uh, okay, we'll load up this uh, this little point, and then I know for a fact we're going to build this, and then I can show you a little bit, and then load up the next checkpoint and it speeds up the whole process and reduces the workload by at least 69%, specifically 69%. And then we have the VOD channel. We've even done some science on the VOD channel. We had it where we were just getting, uh, and the reason I say we is because I have a good friend of mine and a moderator of mine who was helping me out with the VOD channel, who was basically getting the Twitch streams and then uploading them to uh well, not uploading them, you could say exporting them from Twitch to YouTube directly. Um, and then the only problem with that is when you're watching a YouTube VOD, or sorry, a Twitch VOD or a Twitch live stream, you can get compression. So when there's anything, this might get a little technical for some people, um, but when there is a lot of motion on the screen, um, the encoder that we can encoder and the bit rate we can uh, send bits uh, or data to, to the Twitch servers, or even YouTube servers, it could be both, is very limited. So when there's high motion, the video itself has to compress a little bit. Hence the reason you might get pixelation in very fast motion areas. Uh, and looking back on that on the VOD channel, it's not the best experience. So we, I kind of wanted to level it up a little bit. So what I do now 
is I've now I now basically record all my live streams. Uh, and I record them in 1440p, and then all I'll do is then when I when I hit record on that, it automatically chops the stream up into one hour segments. Hence the reason you can go to the VOD channel, and you'll see literally videos that are one hour bang on all the time. And obviously because they're recorded, all I need to do is literally send it to Twitch and you're going to get native 1440p quality with no compression and all that kind of good stuff. So you can enjoy, technically, if you wanted to watch them, uh, a better Twitch stream you'll watch, you just won't have the live interaction basically. So yeah, with the VOD channel, they get uploaded within 48 hours of that live stream ended. The more bits channel, the videos go out daily. And then this main YouTube channel will then go to uh, release every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. the exact same time as the More Bits channel. This channel, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. More Bits daily at 5 p.m. And then the VOD channel within 48 hours of the live stream ending will the VODs go up. This might not be obviously a thing you might be interested in over here, but obviously the Twitch streams we've scienced uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as a Twitch stream, where then Tuesday and Thursday would be my YouTube recording days. Um, and then that didn't kind of work. That kind of damaged things a lot more than I thought it would be. And then also uh, we tried the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Originally, back in the day, I used to stream every single day until I had to figure out I needed to become more of an adult and do adult stuff at the same time. <laughs> So an image is going to be on screen right now, and you can see this is the schedule if you want a visual representation. This is how it's going to be. But some of you must be wondering, Bits, aren't you putting too much work on yourself by doing three videos a week on the main channel, but then doing daily videos on the actual second channel? Not really, because the second channel is a lot less edited than what this channel is. This one... These videos on this channel require a bit more planning, a bit more thought, more editing, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. Where the second channel is literally just me sat there playing with the game and playing like Let's Plays uh, and playthroughs with stories where things can't really be cut out, except if I need to travel from A to B in an open world game, maybe. Or if I die too many times, which kind of does happen a lot. So let's say, for example, here's a realistic scenario of what could happen. I wake up on a, let's say, a Sunday morning. I could sit here and go, I've got no plans for today. Usually Saturdays and Sundays are reserved for personal stuff. If I want to go and see the family or if I want to go and do something, I'll go out traveling or whatever. So that's why I don't do anything usually on a Saturday and Sunday, but we're just going to use a Sunday. For example, I could wake up at nine o'clock. Normally I wake up at six. I usually like, okay, let's just play a game. And I could just say, let's play Horizon Forbidden West. I will then boot that game up. I will just turn my lights on and camera on and all this kind of stuff. And then let's hit record. I then play the game. I intro you to the game. I welcome you to the game. And I will sit there and commentate like a normal YouTube video. Just me playing that game. And I could play it for six hours. Sir. And then what I could do is I will, once I've finished playing that session, I could then turn all my lights off, my camera off. I can put that video then into my editing software. I can cut it at one hour intervals. Uh, and technically I have six videos ready for that week from just one play session. So the second channel is a very, very easy process to do games. It's just not uh, a viable solution if you want to grow as a creator because the Let's Play kind of things is not as popular as it used to be five plus years ago. Now it's more of in your face here, have this information to do something in regards to this game you want to play because you need an answer because you want to reduce your play time because you have matters you want to attend to out of gaming yourself. But then there's them people who love just to get a blanket, sit back, relax, put the fire on or, and just put the TV on and watch your, one of your favorite creators and watch them just play a game and just die a lot. So I know I've rambled on, but I feel like this is now, we have now got the conclusion we wanted. So I, if you, you're still here at this part of the video, thank you so much for the love and the support um, throughout my career. It's allowed me to do so many, many, many different things. I never thought maybe two, three years ago, I'll be getting invited out to this uh, convention uh, via this company or specifically last January, uh, last August. Um, was it last August? Yeah. Uh, I got invited to go and do some voice acting work for a triple A game studio, which uh, which hopefully we'll find out. Well, a lot of people know because I kind of announced it on stream what game it's for and stuff. But like, um, hopefully we hear more about it next year or the year after. Uh, and... 
the opportunities I've gotten from all the love and support on Twitch and here on YouTube, uh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, it's a dream come true of mine to allow for me to do this full time. Uh, and I, I feel like I'm extremely lucky to have you guys support me as a content creator. Um, so now that all the science results are in, we've now got a good direction. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing from now on. We are going to be doing the three days a week on the main channel, the daily stuff on the second channel, and the VODs going up within 48 hours of the live stream. Then the Twitch streams every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if you're interested in joining the live streams, check the links in the description. Uh, or if you want to check out the more bitch channel, because you want to see me play random ass, you might enjoy, especially horror games, because I'm a scurdy cat when it comes to horror games. <laughs> It's weird because it's weird me telling you this, even though I know there's a lot of Twitch people in here and the, the, like you're all my family. Uh, but as you know, I've done I've done content creation for 12 years now and a lot of people I've known for many years. I've made great friends throughout my creation uh, journey and I'm looking forward to the many, many years ahead. Uh, and I hope you're there with me. So I'm going to end this video because I keep rambling on. I'm, 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 I'm too much of a talker, hence the reason I think I've become a content creator. Um, but thank you so much for the love and the support. As always, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.